Hey, this is Ken H364. Got some information for you. There was an article recently run, a couple of researchers out there, New England Journal of Medicine. You wouldn't believe that these people would put this in their Journal of Medicine, but they did. Leaping from mouse to man, researchers warn that e-cigarettes could make you snort cocaine. Uh, Here is a warning you will never see in a pack of cigarettes. A Surgeon General has determined that that cigarette smoking may enhance your enjoyment of cocaine. Well, apparently these two researchers, Mr. Eric Kendall and his wife, a Columbia epidermiologist, Denise Kendall, uh, they uh, did an article in the New England Journal of Medicine this week, and they're ripping on e-cigarettes, as most cities do. Although e-cigarettes eliminate some of the morbidity associated with combustible tobacco, they and related products are pure nicotine delivery systems. They have the same effect on the brain as those reported here uh, for nicotine, and they pose the same risk of addiction to other drugs and experiences. Whether e-cigarettes will provide to be a gateway to the use of combustible cigarettes and illicit drugs is uncertain, but it is clearly possible. You know, you know <clears throat> before I got into e-cigarettes, I've been a smoker for almost 50 years, and I find it amazing that this jerk can make this kind of assessment on a, on a quick little study that he did. You know, you begin to wonder, what is his underlying motive? Is it more research? The guy is in his 80s. Live your life, man. Stop worrying about everybody else. Stop being a libtard. You know, get out there and enjoy your life. But keep in mind that the Kendall's research pertains to nicotine in general, not e-cigarettes specifically. So whatever the risk that nicotine will lead to cocaine, it applies equally to conventional cigarettes, as well as FDA-approved nicotine replacement products, such as the patch. So, Mr. Uh, Kendall, I, I, I really hate to tell you this, but now you're messing with the pharmaceutical industry because they're making a fortune off of these, east, uh, off of these um, patches that people put on their arm or the gum, too. We'll have to get rid of all of it. And the problem being is it has been proven that e-cigarettes are better for smoking cessation than any other thing out there. You know, better than the patch, better than the gum, better than cold turkey. Although there have been claims, and here it goes, the, uh, that EC, electronic cigarettes, is acting as a gateway to smoking in young people, the evidence does not support the assertion. Uh, regular use of, use of EC by non-smoker is rare, and no mitigation from EC to smoking has been documented, let alone whether this occurred in individuals not predisposed to smoking in the first place. The advent of EC has been accompanied uh, by a decrease rather than an increase in smoking uptake by children. So here we go again, somebody with a phony baloney research project. And, um, you know, in leaping from mouse to men, the candles make a reckless assumption about psychology and the nature of addiction. It is not at all clear that the data they gathered from rodents in their laboratory are relevant to humans living in the real world. This study tells us little about human biology and nothing at all about real world human behavior, says Phillips. Now, Carl Phillips is uh, part of CASA. Consumer Advocates for Smoke-Free Alternative Association. What he, what he um, had said in here earlier, uh, even less evidence that vaping is boosting cocaine consumption, which has been declining since e-cigarettes were introduced. Furthermore, notes Carl Phillips, cocaine use peaked long after smoking rates had come down, exactly the opposite of what the Kendalls predict. The study provides no evidence there is a gateway effect, and there is no reason to believe there is one. CASA President Julie Wasner calls it a classic case of someone with a political agenda tacking their opinions onto technical research and trying to trick the press into reporting it that way. Fortunately for the Kendalls, the press is easy to trick, and I agree with that statement. But let's look at the the entire substance. He has an agenda. What is his agenda? Probably to get more funding. He probably wants more funding. The cotton picker is 80-something years old. You know, why does he need more funding? He's probably a wealthy individual anyhow. He's a researcher, so he'll say, well, I want to do my research. I don't care if you want to do your research. If you're going to do research, do it on something that's important. Stop turning around and busting the chops of the people who vape. I myself have not had it since March 18th of this year. I have not touched a, digi- a, a um, analog cigarette. I've been vaping. 
I used to vape before, back when the days when, you know, it was terrible to vape because the products weren't available. I came back to it once I started seeing what's available on the market. So I came back to vaping, and I have not touched an analog cigarette since March 18th. Had no desire to. I'm having too much fun with uh, vaping. But anyhow, I thought you might find that interesting. This was a... Uh, a thing that I got uh, from CASA. And, you know, it's important that people get uh, involved with CASA. You know, you've, you've got to get involved. It doesn't cost you anything to join, to, uh, to join them. And uh, their, uh, their website is uh, casaa.org, casa.org. It costs you nothing to join. You get, in, you, you get great information from them. Give them a try. You know, if you don't get involved... What you're going to end up with is the same thing that the smokers ended up with. You're going to be paying exorbitant amounts for e-juice and for your devices because the politicians have never seen a tax yet that they don't like. They will wreck it for everybody. You know, they can't keep their nose out of anybody's business. So, hey, once again, this is Ken H364, and uh, we'll be talking to you again later. We'll be keep on bringing you this type of information. You'll find links below to CASA and uh, to this article. So, hey, have a great day. Bye-bye.